is it harmful, Dr. Noor, if, we, uh, if I see a cat in my garden mm -hmm. and just bring it, bring it to the to insult and take care of it? What do I need to, to bring her from the street or from the garden? And, and what shall Clean I do her. so that it's, it's safe to me? All right? Clean her. Uh-huh. What do I do? Clean her. What else? What other Feed her. Feed her. Feed her. Feed her. Okay. Can I bring her inside home, Dr. Noor, please? Okay. Before you decide to get a cat from the street to your home, you should immediately go to the vet, to the vet mm -hmm. and let him see if, if she or he is good for you. And he's not sick, she's good, and she, she's at the health of her is good, mm -hmm. and there is nothing will harm you and your family members. So, uh, I saw a cat once in the street, and she had little insects on her. Can I just bring her in home? Of course not. Why not? Clean her. Uh -huh. okay. You know these little insects on the cats? Yeah. All right, so we need to go to the doctor, to the cat doctor, all right, and he will examine her. He will see if she has any insects, little insects. You know what they're called? Anyone knows what are these little insects bugs. called? You, know, you could call them bugs, but they have a special name. Anyone knows? Yeah. What? Fleas. Bravo, Ale. Fleas. Exactly. All right. Any other things that can, you know, crawl on our Ant. little pets? Ant. Uh, Ants. Have you heard? Ants. They, 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 don't, uh, they don't like uh, to crawl on, on, on dogs and cats. Flies. Flies can do this also. But there's something called ticks. Anyone heard of this? It's a lot bigger, bigger, bigger bugs than uh, than than fleas. Okay, and they stick to the skin of our dog. And what do they start doing? What, why not? Let them be. Why? Why? What's the harm? What would? would what harm would they do to it's our a, to our dogs? Will itch them and the itch just. Itch them, okay. correct. And what else? What do they do and also? They will hurt. What else? They like to do something. They like to... What do they do? Suck the blood. Bravo. When the dog gets his blood sucked, what, what's, what harm will it do? Will die. Die. He will be very weak and might. Yes, correct. He might die. He'll be died. Okay. So what do we do before we bring, we decide? We first talk to mama and daddy about bringing the pet from the garden, all right, to the home. And daddy and mama will take her to the... Vet, he will examine and he will give what? He will give injections, all right? So the cat or the dog is completely healthy, all right? And then we can bring in the dog or the cat. What is this called? This is called adoption. It's much better than buying. And this way, what, what do we do this way? We save lives, okay? Because these cats in the streets, all right, they should not belong, they don't belong in the streets. They should be taken care of by us, correct or not? Good act. Uh huh. Please. Good Let's talk about the cat, the place of the cat. Okay. The place of the cat. We talked about putting the litter and the litter box for our cats. It should be isolated a little bit from our home because cats need some privacy. So they are shy, they, maybe? Yes, they are shy so from us. Cats are more shy have. than dogs, you know? Cats can be more shy. So if they want to do poo-poo, like us going to toilet, imagine us going to toilet and opening with an open door. What do we feel? We feel shy, right? Same with cats. They like their litter to be in a private place. Okay? So can I put it in a closed room, for example? Can I put it and close the room? Because this is better for the cat. Can I do this? You can do that. You can do that. Mm -hmm. Because we don't know when, when the cat she wants to, to go to that place. Mm -hmm. And if you close the room, she will do it outside. So, so the place where the litter box is, this is called litter box. Okay? That's where cats, this is, this is a gift that God gave to, get, to cats. They are different than dogs, a little bit different. But this is something that God gave to cats. They like to hide their caca and poo poo, not like dogs. Dog, some dogs may do it, but all cats are 
you know, like they are made to do this. Okay, so we have to provide them with a clean, all right, litter. That where can we get this litter, Doctor Noor? Also from the pet shop. Mm -hmm. Yes. You can find different types of litter. Mm -hmm. Like a oh. What? Like a oh. Okay. Why it's better to use the, the special litter, Doctor Noor? Why to use a special litter? Because we want the litter to absorb the smell mm -hmm. and to make something like the scoops. Mm -hmm. So it so makes like little balls, yes. And uh, Doctor Noor, could you tell us uh, what's what to take, how to take care of this uh, litter? Shall I just throw the litter away when it's uh, full, or how can I? Okay, there is yes? something we use to clean the litter box with. Mm -hmm. It's something like this. This is a scoop. You know, we scoop, scoop the litter, the, litter. the, the caca out. We don't throw the whole litter box. All right. We just scoop it out. All right. And uh, yeah. you can do it every day with this thing. You can I do it once a week, Dr. Noor? You can do that. Huh? You can do that. Why not? Because we need our pet to be clean and mm -hmm. you should also keep the litter fresh and without any smelling. And, and that also hurts your pet and hurts you also. Okay. Yes, please. And and then our house will be clean. Correct. Yes. No smell. Okay? All right. You see how do we scoop? All right? Of course, there's... All right. Imagine yourself go, go to the bathroom and you see some, something without flushing. Toilet without flush. How do you feel? So the, always the cat needs to see her litter clean. clean. All right? Okay? Okay, now if you have a dog and you don't and you live in an apartment like for example, you don't want him to go in your home. What can you do? But he make him a house outside. Okay, so mm -hmm. or in a driving tree. Okay, so you should take your dog for a walk every day. To make exercise. Yes. If I throw this to a Labrador, yes, he will go and bring it back to me. Yes? Correct. So you should choose. Yes, please. Some dogs and cats fight. Correct. Yes, they do. Okay. Go on with the playing. Go on with it. There is more playing, and there is more tools for playing. Like, please, doctor. We can use this for our cats. Something like a mouse, you can do it to your cat and she will jump and get it back to you. So, can I can I use sharp things, Dr. Noor, for my dog and cat to play with? Of course not. Like uh, maybe uh, wood? Can I give him like sharp wood with with edges and maybe or, some or nails needles. or needles? Can I give them needles? Of course not. Of course not. You will hurt your dog. Mm -hmm. Or maybe uh, some uh, uh, something uh, sharp, metal sharp things. Can I use this? You shouldn't this? do that. You shouldn't do that. Also, you you always think about your pet. It's something small. You if he gets know. in the mud, you have to clean him. Yes, of course. That's he don't know if, if this is safe for him or it's not safe for him. You are the one. That should decide if this is safe for my pet or not safe for so my you, pet. So you tell me that I should uh, look in the garden and see if there is any sharp things at the garden. So I need to take them away to remove them from the from site the of my...